Hi guys, you're here because you want a sniper rifle. You want one of these, a Winchester, a Blaze, a Mosin, anything to get some distance and some range and some, do some sweet little sniping. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to bring a map up and I'm going to show you where we're going to concentrate on. It's mainly in the northeast area. You want to try and get a spawn as close to Berezino and follow this route up through Krasnostav, loop back on yourself across the centre of the map, pull in a castle here and there, all those yellow marks are denoting a nice little sniper loot spot. We're going to hit a number of these summer camps and you could get any one of these hunting goodies along with lots of clothing. We're now going to take to the skies, we're going to leave Berezino's coast and head west past Berezino, the city itself, the southern section of Berezino this is, we're flying over the top of you. You see the apartments to the right there, there's a little road that runs out from those apartments towards Dubrovka. I say heading heading west um, and the first stop we're going to have over here we've got a lowly house and these feature quite a lot in this video a lowly house a little green face house over here and this is where we can our first stop for the hunting gear is there it is and then just cut straight north through the woods and you can stop off at the a feeder shack we've got a little feeder shack down there tucked away worth a check and then we're going to barrel straight through these trees you can see the map on the left, you can follow that or you can follow the, the, the actual aerial view. And we're going to come straight into this summer camp, the first of many summer camps we're going to stop off at. This one's called Drubzbvr Summer Camp. From here we're going northwest and we're heading through the woods again. Might be a bit tricky to follow this, but you know, you've got the, the map, you've got, you've got the aerial view. We're going straight up the top to top of Kelm Hill, I think it is. You can have a look at this little signpost that we've put here. Well, I haven't put it here. I'll put it on a video, and this will tell you where you are. Now, over that way, you've got Krasnostav, and it's definitely worth going into this town. There's lots of goodies to have in there. There's a police station, but this is about hunting gear, and over there is a castle. You're not find a better place to find your hunting gear than there. This will give you an idea of, sort of, uh, get an idea of where you are on the map, because you can see so much from this position. So we're off again into the skies, we're heading now into Krasnostav. We're just going to fly over the top of it. As you're going up this hill, we're just going to go straight over the top of the police station there and then up into these trees. Um, we're going sort of northwesterly again and tucked away here is a military centre. Civilian barracks. You can get some 308 there. Back out this way, head back east, over the trees again. Well, we can go over the trees towards the northeast airfield and we're going to find another little lonely house tucked away just here another hunting house just there again you can pick up all the stuff that i've said those things that i mentioned the sniper rifles the scopes the guns back over this way we took we're heading to chennai palana now and there's one reason we said we're going here and there's only one reason you might want to pick some water up there's a well right next to this building but these 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 stores have hunting gear in as well out of chennai palana super speed up or back over the hill we're, this is where we turn back on ourselves a little bit you can cut down these rocks uh, follow the rocks to the right and there's a couple of little spots you can stop at here um you just you just follow it you, it seems like you're going nowhere but just stay on this little trail and eventually on the left hand side up here there's a picnic table you can spawn all the hunting gear and then you follow the rocks all the way down keep them rocks on the right hand side and eventually you will come to a section where there's a, there's a, a feeder shack just here on the left. If you move forward about 20 paces from here, you'll hit a blue trail. And follow that and it will take you all the way back to the civilian barracks. Now, you don't need to loot it again, but I just want you to get back there so you can pick this particular loot route we're doing back up. Up over the hill, back up to this tower. And then hook a right, follow the dirt path down through the trees a little bit you can you can stay on the path if you want but this takes you back via a feeder shack there on the right follow the trail through the woods over the broken down tree you got a lonely house here but don't stop at this one if you just want hunting gear on the right you've got the feeder shack oh uh, sorry deer stand and then over the road up the hill and we're going to hit the first castle Castles are probably one of the best places to get the actual guns. I mean, all the attachments and everything else you find at, uh, well, these little places, It really. You find them, find them at the um, the little buildings rather than the major buildings. We've got off over the hills to the west, and then there's a convoy you can spawn on your left here, just on the road to Dubrovka. Hook those trees on the left if you want to stay safe to the next destination, which is over the, over the fields as we're, as we're traveling here. It takes us to a lonely house. 
Um, this house is one that people tend to like stopping and, and uh, building at, so you might find it all secured. But again, could could find your sniper rifle in there. I've found loads of times I've found, I've found a sniper rifle in that spot. We're kind of continuing west out through these trees, these orange trees. We're going to see a road in front of us in a second. We hook left when we see the road, follow it up, follow the power lines in the road. Um, you can stop at this little shed here, can get a hunting backpack there, and then follow the road up, keep on, keep it, keep in the trees if you're going to be sensible. And then we've got three spots here, the feeder shack, the blue sharabang, and the shed at the back. All of those can spawn hunting gear. Hook round, head north, through the few little trees here, hit the deer stand on your right, and then turn left through to these, through these tree, this tree cover, and there's a little summer house settlement down here. Second one, second summer house camp we're going to fit, we're, we're going to hit. Um, all your clothing, all your scopes. Uh, Brucey bonus on the left there, we've got a medical. Saloon on the right. And then out, follow the dirt track down. Up into the skies a little bit. And then we're going to go over to a lonely house over here. This is another one of the lonely houses that I feature quite heavily in this, this particular loot route because they're so good. Through the trees, over this open grassland, you'll see a deer stand right in front of us. As soon as you see it, hurt, turn left. And then on your right, you'll find another feeder shack just there. Follow the trees all the way up towards where the moon is. I did this at night because it was a lot less fog. When I was doing it, I tried recording it in daytime, there was loads of fog and it made it a bit more difficult. Anyway, there's another castle. And on the left there, you've got the picnic table. But one of the biggest castles on Chinaris, this one's Devil's Castle. Lots of little spots. I'm not going to explain whereabouts all the loot spots are within these places. That's you're going to have to work out yourself. I'm just taking you to them. As you come out across the top of the castle, there's a cafe type saloon place down here. Uh, always check the kiosk. You can get a press vest in there. Thank you very much, AWP, for that information. Um, in fact, you can get it from any of the, the buildings on the outside of this this castle uh, of this saloon. You got the bus there that I've had press vests out of those. Another hunted spot. This one here. After you've looted all that, swing a hard right here, and we want to hug this tree line a little bit. This one's a bit tricky. Stick with the tree line. And then straight through these trees, and you you kind of traveling, I don't know, west, west with a little bit of south. You can stick to the tree lines, but basically we're heading for this feeder shack, and then we're gonna go directly west. Super speed for some reason there. I don't know. I recorded this, and it was it is quite difficult to do narration over this. But the, the, you've got Grishino to the left. And then you hit this tree line here, and then you've got a deer stand to the left and a feeder shack. And we're going to go right up into the sky, head out towards the railway line, and hit this lonely house. This is what we call the clit house, because there's always a gun cleaning clit in that shed. And we carry on along here. We're now heading west. Janky old recording. Oh my good god. We're going... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to re-record. This is terrible. Oh, there's a house there. This house. There's a haunted house. Um, yeah, that's a haunted house. And then we're going super speed all the way over here to the final destination, which is this summer camp on the northwest of the map. And if you don't have a sniper rifle by the time you've done that lot, then send me an email and I'll I'll send you um 10 pence all right catch you later